The Watermark Art Center in Bemidji unveiled their latest exhibit tonight, and one piece is destined to become a semi-permanent part of the venue. Our Sherelle Moore tells us about a work in process for this week's In Focus. The artwork of German sculptor Joachim Berthold is now being shared with Greater Minnesota, thanks to the Watermark Art Center in Bemidji. Berthold used his work to show the spiritual evolution of man. His sculptures and paintings have been displayed in museums all over the world. He uh, believed in being the artist first, and first a husband, and first a father. Uh, there was nothing second. Bertold passed away in 1990. His family says having his work displayed at the watermark is a special kind of gift. They represent the soul and have brought my father's soul to life in the staging the representation, they understand the artist intrinsically. The work of Joachim Bertold will be on display at the Watermark Art Center until the end of March. Although there is one piece in the exhibit that will remain here as a semi-permanent exhibit. That's the pacing man that you see right behind me. Family members say loaning the piece to the Watermark was an easy decision. I envisioned uh, putting that piece in, in my backyard or in the front yard. But, but then I get to enjoy it, and my family gets to enjoy it, and, and those that, that come, over, come to my home get to enjoy it, but, but not everybody else. Once this exhibit is over, the Pacing Man sculpture will be placed somewhere outside of the building, in a visible spot where everyone can enjoy it. We've got such a great art community, and to have something of, of this magnitude, I, I, I feel, in the area, I think, is, I think to me, is a, is a great honor to share with the community. And if the artists were here to see the display, family members say he would be happily satisfied. He would not have one ounce of um, saying this should be different, which is saying a lot because he was a perfectionist. Reporting of Bemidji with this week's In Focus, Sheryl Moore, Lakeland News. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.